Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego. And I have made another mock that I'm going to be showing you today. It's, I, work, I worked many hours coming up with this idea, so I hope you really appreciate it. And since it's Star Wars week, or days, it's May the 2nd be with you. Uh, I'm wearing this Indiana Jones slash Han Solo inspired t-shirt that was sent to us. Uh, we got this in the video where I was wearing the puffy shirt. It was the, kind of the day in the life of Bricks are. So if you see the thumbnail with me in the puffy shirt, and they might be Bricks is in the video with me. I actually was standing right here in this part of the basement when we opened the package. It was a mystery package. And I don't recall who sent it to me. I don't think there was a message in there. And if somebody messaged me on email, I can't find it. So I don't know who sent this shirt to me. <laughs> and I apologize if you told me and I already forgot. Remember, I'm old and I forget things. So we're going to be looking at a couple of packages. We got one from Bricklink. And this is from eBay. And I want to talk about this before I open it and before I show you my mock. Uh, this is as a result of a question I received in an email from Johan, who was looking for something not this <laughs> so let's so what happened is what happened was uh, anyway what happened he was looking for the instructions and the box for one of the few mtron sets that were ever made there's only a handful of mtron sets less than 10 i think i've got all of the mtron sets even the super rare super secret uh, three-in-one set of the instructions that you had to send off for. So he was wanting one of them, which is set 1478. And he couldn't find the box, and he couldn't find the instructions. And it's such a small set. You're, and I've got a video on my channel of the set with the instructions, but no box. And I'll explain that. So I thought, oh, that uh, why is that one sold out? Why does nobody have that? I mean, yeah, it's 25 years ago when it came out, but Shouldn't there be somebody? It's such a small set. Usually those, you can always find somebody. It's like the tipper truck. You can always find the tipper truck instructions. And this is even older than the uh, Mtron set 1478. Well, the reason is it is actually one of those that was a five-in-one set. So there were five different sets packaged in one box. And it was only the one box. And I'll put the picture of the box because the number slips me now. 14 something 61 <laughs> anyway there was the five in one set which were pretty they did a lot of those in the 90s and i remember getting different ones there'd be some that they would put castle and pirate sets together or multiple castle sets or multiple pirate sets sometimes those sets would be available somewhere else but a lot of the times no that, that was the only place you could get the the sets like the smuggler's hayride that's one that comes to mind from the castle theme that was packaged with another set it didn't come separately so the same with this m trine set it was packaged with five other sets which is like you know pirates and castle <laughs> and city and so it it did have individual instructions though for each set so there are five it wasn't one instruction sheet it was five different instruction sheets which is pretty neat uh, but only the one box. So the box you can't find because it would be the box for all five. So the best way to to get it, I thought, would be like, oh, we'll go buy all five set or buy the the complete set, even if it was used. And oh my goodness! So, so Brick Trains and I were getting ready for the A Full podcast, and we were scrolling eBay and Bricklink, and the only people selling it are selling it for a whole lot of money whole lot of money some ridiculous amounts of money and it's like why i mean there's no really rare elements in there it's just like you're paying all that money just for the box and the instructions and it went down another rabbit hole because we were looking at the box and that's where we get to what's in this box on the back of the box of one of the boxes so there's different versions of the box one of them had something you could send away for and it was this and nobody had one on Bricklink. And I saw one on eBay that was buy it now. And I did the buy it now. <laughs> and I don't even know if I want this. <laughs> so I'm going to show you this. 
And um, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for the instructions for the Mtron set numbered 1478. It's very possible I have an extra one down here. I haven't come across it yet. I know all my Mtron stuff's together in one box. And I know that I have the instructions for it because I, ha I had to go back and watch my own video. I'm like, did I have the instructions for that set? So I watched my video and the instructions are in the video. <laughs> That's bad when you can't remember what you have, but I can't, I can't remember a lot of things. What day is it? Anyway, uh, let's go over here. Oh, oh, I'll open these so you can see them, and I'll show you my little chipper truck mock. So this was a buy it down on eBay, and typically a set like this with no box. It did not come with a box, by the way, or the poly bag or whatever it would have been in. Uh, so hopefully it's the real instructions and not a photocopy. Yeah. All right, so this was the set, 1631. It was a mail-in. It's the driverless car. Let's see if everything's here. It's got this. This is your special piece, number four. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, such a small set. Uh, thank you for your business. Um, so I'm building it, right? And... Wait a minute, maybe... Oh, I thought it was missing a piece. It got stuck. Whoo! I was about to complain. I was like, how could you be missing a piece in such a small set? So this piece got stuck in the wrong place. So it is not actually missing a piece. It does have all the pieces. You can see it's been on display because there's dust where there no piece would go. Where does this go? Oh, shoot. I've already built it wrong. This goes like that. No, there's... Why, oh, no, there is a piece there. So there shouldn't be dust there. Hmm. A little spoiler we're going to put on there. Put our steering wheel right there. Man, what an odd car. It's a little race car with no driver, no minifigure. And you had to mail off to get this. So, yeah, set 1631. That thing is really dusty. And it's very likely that the guy that sold me this on eBay, he probably just pieced these parts together. He had this instruction manual, which is not much to write home about. 1990. Why is it 1990? Was this in something else? Was this a McDonald's thing? Oh, now i got to look this up. 1631. Alright, so this came out in 1990. The mobile satellite uplink set 1478, which is in the 5 and 1 set, came out in 1991. So this may have sold separately. I cannot find anybody in the U.S. selling it. There were a few that had it at a cheaper price than what I paid, but they were all overseas, so it would cost me more to get it. And all the lower cost ones didn't have the instruction manual. There is a box... And I don't know if I want to do this, but there's a seller in Australia that has the box. <laughs> I don't know if I want to pay the shipping for that. Oh, man, because now I'm wanting to get the box. <laughs> oh, well. It's such a little dinky set. So, in summary, um, because some guy was looking for an Mtron instruction manual in box. Not the set, just the instruction manual. But it led to me... Buying this set, which was a mail-in promotion on the back of the box of the set he wanted. And now I'm wanting to get the box this set came in. Alright, so we got this brick link order here. There's not much to... Oh, look! I got eight tippers. Got some blue rails. And a Fabulan. Guys, this is all we got. This was from, like, the UK... Had actually had pretty reasonable shipping. Oh, that guy's in pretty good, sh pretty good shape. Are you my friend? Hello, I'm a walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. What do you think? Man, that's a pretty good minifigure. Wow, for a Fabulan, that quality, clean, that is really good, really good quality. All right, so. You are going to have Star Wars in your Star Wars video. So this is my Star Wars mock. It is the Star Wars theme inspired tipper truck. We used our typical 
Star Wars colors. I kept it true to the original build. So my rules are vintage colors and no substitutes. And so I, I was tempted to use slopes, like dark gray slopes here and here, uh, but I didn't. I kept it true to the tipper truck form. <laughs> Do wish they made a black or gray tipper, but they did not. Uh, I wish this was light gray, the, the headlight brake, but they only made it in black, red, blue, and yellow with the chrome. So, yeah, and that's, so that's, that's what we got. My Star Wars themed tipper truck. What do you think? Pretty cool. Oh, what happened to the background just then? <laughs> All right. Whoops. What happened? Hi. Right. So, Walrus in the race car. There we go. Nice. So, I wish we'd been recording when we were doing this, when I was talking to Joey and we were looking at these things on eBay, because this was a complete impulse buy, and it's, it is not worth what I paid for it. <laughs> It was the only one. It was the only one for sale at the time. What was I thinking? It was ten. I think it was fourteen dollars with shipping. And the box in Australia is like three dollars and fifty cents. So I don't know if I should go and get the box for such a pitiful little set. That's the equivalent of what you would get in a Happy Meal toy. I'm more pleased with the Warris. Yes, that's a good thing. All right, tell me what you think of my Star Wars mock. All right. Anyway, thank you uh, for watching this video. I'm going to go put this shirt in the box. I think whoever sent this to me, I'm an extra large. By the way, I think somebody else asked that question. I am an extra large. And we're into May. And I still have not gone shirtless. So see you in the tomorrow. And I will have a shirt for tomorrow as well. Bye.